YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Thomas with Mr. Fix All Home Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. It's a beautiful Sunday morning in Eflin, and I'm sitting up here uh, doing a little bit of work, a little bit of maintenance. I laid a little bigger courtyard right here. Uh, just made this more efficient. I took the brick that I had down at the back and came up here and just created a nice little courtyard here for this corner of the property or the, uh, the, the deck here. Okay, hope everybody's doing well on this gorgeous Sunday. I'll tell you, uh, this YouTube adventure thing is, uh, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I hope you guys are too. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this particular video, because it's more of a Q&A, uh, and plus a, a shout out. So let me shout out first. Let me go ahead and do that. And, uh, these are, uh, two people that are out in California, uh, Mike and Kathy. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching my channel. I appreciate you. And I know uh, you've uh, emailed me several times and said that you and your wife enjoy uh, the content, uh, the message that I'm giving, and what I'm doing out here on the land, and all the different, uh, you know, just the progress and the different things that I have accomplished here in a short period of time. Okay. Well, just to make sure I shout out again, your uh, handle on YouTube is MILGear82, and that's MILGear82, Mike and Kathy from California. This is a big shout out from Mr. Fix All Tom here in uh, Eflin, North Carolina. Thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate you guys. Okay, let's, uh, let's get into another little topic that uh, I've been kind of uh, scratching my head over uh, the last few weeks. But uh, basically, I'd like to get out there as this, guys. Uh, you know, when it comes to YouTube and being on this channel and, uh, you know, doing my little uh, adventure out here on the farm and uh, all the business videos that I show you guys and different jobs that I do, uh, you know, that's what the channel was originally intended uh, to be, was a maintenance handyman channel uh, for, you know, information to give, get across to you guys the way I think about things and the way I do things. It doesn't necessarily mean that's the way you have to do it or that's your approach or that's your technique. I'm just saying in the last 40 years of renovating homes and doing commercial and industrial work, uh, I've picked up a lot of uh, you know tricks and uh, techniques along the way. So when I put these videos out, it's not just a throw something out there for the damn hell of it. It's actually to, you know, try to say, okay, this is my way. It doesn't mean it's your way, but, you know, everybody learns from everybody. Hell, I learn all the time uh, from different YouTube channels. Uh, some of you guys are great, and I, and I love watching your channels. Also, too, uh, this is kind of an interesting thing. One of my subscribers, and, and I want to make sure I got your name, Christopher, uh, uh, he, he met Wrangler Star uh, live. His family met the Wrangler Star family, and he called me that he was going to meet them. And you know Wrangler Star is a big, big, huge homesteading channel in Oregon. Uh, a husband and wife team, and now a son and a, a couple of dogs, and they've got a, a big old homesteading ranch up in Oregon, and their channel has exploded. I mean, you know, the guy's making a lot of money on YouTube. As for me, I'm making nothing, you know, and, and I've got 250 probably 50 videos out there now and uh, about right at 1,270 or 90 uh, subscribers, almost 1,300 subscribers, thank you very much, and uh, approaching 200,000 views. I'm a very, very small channel, uh, but I do have people from all over the world, uh, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Ireland, Canada, all over the United States, here in my hometown, here in my home state, even in my city. Uh, I get calls from local guys all the time. And, and I just want to shout out to all you guys out there, all my subscribers, all 1,290 of you guys. Uh, uh, if I don't mention you personally, uh, please do not take offense. But I think I've answered every single email since two years ago. If I missed one or two here and there, I apologize. But... I think I've responded to every single subscriber, every single comment uh, on, uh, you know, my channel. And, 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 you know, a lot of guys won't. When they start a channel, uh, they just kind of become oblivious. Uh, they get, you know, get big. 
uh, then they don't have the time to do it. So they just don't, you know, they don't share any more of their perception or their techniques or, you know, what they're doing, you know, if it's something tactical, if it's homestead, it's farming, it's, you know, fixing a car. You know, a lot of these guys on YouTube, once they get over, you know, 50,000, 60,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, they just don't have the time to hit up all these comments. But uh, I'm small enough now, I will. And, and it gives me something to do at night because it's like communicating. You know, it's not like seeing your face and I'm still communicating with everybody out there. And I just want to appreciate you guys uh, for uh, chiming in on my channel. So, you know, with this, uh, this whole homesteading thing that I'm doing up here, you know, the farming, prepping, uh, all these different variables that I've got going on up here, uh, it, it, it's just something that I do as a hobby. This is the, this is the hobby that I wanted to have for a long time, to get up here and see if I can put something like this together. You know, because I've never done this before. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm just as humble as the next guy out there uh, when it comes to uh, homesteading, prepping. It's just I've got a lot of military training. I've been around the military for 30 years, so I'm kind of using that experience to the best of my knowledge and the best of my ability out here, which is not the same thing when it comes prepping and homesteading because you're dealing with Mother Nature. It's just you against Mother Nature. So, so far Mother Nature hasn't really kicked my ass too bad. I mean, I've had, I've run into about five big snakes, and uh, other than that, um, really, nothing's, nothing's really happened bad out here in the last year and uh, four months. Uh, but a lot of progress has been made, and I'm proud of that. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, why don't I have people working for me on my business, not to change the subject. Let me just be real brief about this. Uh, as an S-corporation, an S-corporation is exactly that, a sole proprietorship. One person, okay? You can have two people in an S or three people in an S, but the bottom line is, is that uh, when it comes to insurance, workman's comp, paying taxes, payroll taxes, paying salaries, uh, keeping them on the books, running background checks, you know, doing all these things, make sure they have a driver's license, they, you know, and then you've got to provide health insurance, you've got so many other, so many employees, you know, there's just so many expenses related to uh, hiring somebody that I would rather stay on a job longer, take all the money, and, and not worry about paying out all this different money to the federal government uh, because you have employees, okay, that's, that's, let me get that whole situation uh, cleared up. That's the reason why I work by myself. Uh, secondly, a lot of people ask me, uh, how, how do you know what you know? And, and, and I'll be honest with you. It, it took a lot of, a lot of years uh, of just watching stuff, watching people, watching, hell, I watched television, Bob Vila, for 10 years and watched Norm uh, work for you know for uh, you know that Bob Vila show and and I picked up a lot of stuff from that and then when I got my first house I renovated it over thirty something plus years ago and it came out good I sold it and made money and I thought okay this is the business I want to get into eventually but I was in the car business for twenty eight years so now that I'm running my own business I own my own handyman service this part of the dream was able to come true okay as long as I was a car salesman. I wasn't able to make enough money because I was taxed to death. I was paying 40, 41% taxes. My total uh, income was taxes. So once I quit the car business and retired after 28 years, I set up this handyman business and set up a, a, an S corporation. And I just went on a gut feeling that I was living in the right city at the right time and it was right enough people coming in all the time. And I lived in the right neighborhood too. Uh, that I can get this business up and running without no, too much sweat and you know and, and 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 without taking out a big loan. I took out no loan. I had everything paid for going in and and I didn't have much cash. I only had eight grand and a, a paid for van and a box of tools. I lie to you not, that's exactly how I started uh, November 9th of 2009. Uh, and then I, I just kept at it. Like I tell you on a lot of videos, I'm a chronic workaholic. So that mentality has made me do what I've done for the last six years, just go like a freight train and work my ass off and buy all these different things and invest in all these different things. But it was a financial strategy that I set up a long, long, long time ago. I knew how to play the numbers. I knew exactly what I needed to do to get out of debt. And I knew how to play all the financial games that were out there. So all I did was just set, make up my mind one day, I was gonna put it all to use. All that knowledge that I had, everything that I knew, Everything that I was trained to do over the last 40 years of my life, because you know I'm almost 60 years old, uh, that 
you know, I'm going to put this knowledge to use. So that's how Mr. Fixall came about. But I owned the name many, many years ago and, and registered and patent registered the name. So the moral of story is, is that uh, it, it, it's not luck. Uh, there's some luck involved, but what it was is just pure, de pure damn determination to make this business work, to make this farm work. Uh, and to make my life in Raleigh work and all the relationships I have with all these different people uh, that I do business with. Uh, so that's that part of it. Now, there was one part of my video, and let me, and this is the, uh, the biggest, craziest thing uh, that's ever happened. I put out a video, uh, the shit hits the fan, uh, backslash 2016, backslash time to bug out, and I was at, with my van at 5, 6.30 in the morning at Walmart. Well, that video, I think, has gone somewhat viral because it's like I, I put it up only a couple of months ago and it's got almost approaching 6,000 views. Thanks a lot, guys, for that. I appreciate that. That was the uh, Shit Hits a Fan backslash 2016 backslash time to bug out video. Uh, that, you know, I'm getting comments all over the board about that one. I mean, people who think I'm a total idiot, you know, and a moron to people who agree that who knows what's going to happen, but something's going to happen, folks. Something is going to happen. So the bottom line is prepping is all it is, is preparing for something to happen. That's, that's the, 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 the best way I can explain that. Okay. Now, but that video has uh, shocked me a little bit because I was, trying to, I was trying to be serious on the video, but as you guys know, I was play acting, and a lot of you guys didn't get it. And that's where all the, you know, uh, you're an asshole and, oh, you know, you can kiss my ass. You're, you know, you live in the basement of your mom's house shit. You know, thanks a lot, guys, for those comments. I appreciate it. Uh, it's like a bad tweet, you know. Thanks a lot for your bad comments. I appreciate them. But uh, I just want to let you guys know, thank you very much for viewing my channel. I hope, I really, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, that if you watch my channel, you don't have to agree with me. All I want you to do is feel, take my place. What would you do if you had what I had and if you ran a business like mine and you were independent, debt-free, and you owned all this, what would you do? So that's, a, that's the quest for today, guys, is that if you were in my situation or something similar, what would you be doing? Those are the comments I want to get from you guys. Okay, this is Thomas with Mr. Fixall Home Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina, signing out. Uh, thank you very much again. Uh, Mike and Kathy out of California, thank you very much for your uh, kind words and comments. And uh, one day you might come out to California. I mean, from California, come to North Carolina. You're more than welcome. You can stay in the RV. All right, guys, I'm out of here. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up. Leave those comments. Always leave those comments. And I'll see you guys on another video.